this is all one needs to properly do via ferrata if you have questions if you don't know how via ferrata works if you are curious in building the list of items you might need to get into doing it first time here we have it this is it and i will show one by one how these items uh, combine together how to use them and then try to explain what is dangerous about via ferrata and how to um, manage that so basic gear you need a helmet there's two degrees celsius outside so i will keep my hat on but when you climb you should have a helmet the other basic item is let me get there the harness then the via ferrata set after that your resting lanyard gloves half fingered ideally and a headlamp plus some bandages for your fingers when you're climbing not for last you need the first aid kit so the harness the first thing you'll ever do when you get ready to climb is fit the harness so let's do this you probably wonder yourself how do i buy the right harness for myself well i had the same question when i first time uh, first time started climbing via ferrata and this is what i learned the harness when you tie when it is tightened around your body some couple of things should happen first of all when you tighten the harness there should there should be no gap between the ends so the ends of the harness should overlap good now when this happens and it is very hard very hard for all of us this to happen because it is based on your uh, body shape in my case i'm lucky with this harness size it goes really there of course it can be um the, 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 the ends can have some distance between them it is important to not not be too distant so now in my case they overlap the ends of a of a harness perfect they are above the hips like the harness is above the hips good i'm trying to take it down it doesn't because i'm already making some effort to to breathe which is good and i will show you in a second why then the last thing i'm doing to check this size of a harness is right for me i'm putting my hand in closing my fist rotating a bit and trying it to take it out and it doesn't go which means this is the right size and when i'm tightening it it is done properly because my fist cannot get out good next thing so now i'm putting together the system the next thing is the ferrata set you have the part which connects to your belay loop by, by the way to your harness when you have the shock absorber i will explain in a second what that is when you have a linear they are elastic in my case and then the carbines two types these are the easier ones and more expensive and then you have other ones a bit harder to to clip and clip but cheaper good so i'm wrapping this around the belay loop good now in here i'm making sure the linear flows here so it is flowing nothing twisted nothing twists so the whole thing flows good i'm checking do i'm doing i'm making a i'm doing a visual check here so it is properly connected and i have it now i was advising you to make sure you also have a resting carbine uh, or linear in my case it is a y shaped resting linear so i'm connecting this one as well uh, it has a strange way of connecting and this strange way of connecting makes it 22 
kilonewton rated linear while connected, which is very good. The majority of them have 15 kilonewtons, so 22 is good. These carbines, I bought them from internet. They are via ferrata rated because they open easily. And that's it. Here I am. Again, two degrees Celsius outside. I will not take my cap off, but the last thing you do is put in your helmet. And if you have a gloves, and I recommend you to have gloves, you put them on. And here you have it. Your system is placed together. How do you use it? The Aferata is made of a steel cable which goes all the way up. There is or should not be any segment without cable. Good. Now, this cable is long and heavy. To keep it fixed on the wall and in place, you, we have bolts. And this cable goes like there, is connected to the bolt and keeps going. Perfect. This creates a problem because when you connect yourself, you eventually reach the bolt and you have to cross over it. And it is why you have two linears. So let's first connect. You see, I'm connecting first, first carabine and the second, I'm putting it in the upside direction. I'm not, I'm not connecting it like this, but in the upside way. Why? Because it happened to me in the past when I was trying to unclip one, the other one unclipped as well. So I'm, I was now disconnected from the cable. You should always, always, on the entire length of uh, Via Ferrata route, stay connected. I know sometimes it can be easy, might feel you go faster if you disconnect, but if you build that bad habit, you can get into trouble when a complex situation occurs and your aware, aware part of your brain shuts down and then you only rely on habits. And if the habits are not good, then you might get into trouble. Good. So, always stay connected. Try to connect like this in upside directions. Good. And now we simulate us advancing. So I'm coming up. I want to go continue my, my climb, but I've reached this ball here. How do I do? I have this hole here. So what I will do is I'm, I'm getting myself here, for example, even here, I'm using this hold to, to fix myself into the position. Now, with this other hand, and always with only one hand, I'm unclipping one carabine, clipping it here. Now, with this other one, you see, I'm always connected because this is how it works, this system. It is why you have two linears. Now, I'm clipping above the bolt, checking, and continuing. So now I'm continuing. What happens, so I've reached here, and this is a very short vertical distance. I'm taking, again, one carabine, moving it to the next segment, above the next bolt. Now, you see I'm connected, unclipping, always connected, clipping, and this allows me to keep going and focus on climbing this wall here. So, I'm going. Good. Let's stay in frame. So, I will come back. By the way, going up on a Via Ferrata will always be easier than going down. So, if you find yourself getting into trouble, scared, intimidated, don't believe going back will be easier. Actually, it will be dangerous and maybe harder. Perfect. So, this is how you use it. What about this resting stuff here? Well, when you get tired, whew, what do you do? You clip yourself with this resting carabine. And now, you sit and rest. Whew, I'm so tired, I'm saying. What happens here? This Via Ferrata set is never stressed, so I'm not putting any stress on it because I'm using the resting linear, the resting carabine. Why is this good for me, for myself? I never wanna deploy or employ this. What this means is, yes, I'm using it correctly, which is I'm always staying connected to a cable through the Via Ferrata set, but I would like this one to only serve one purpose, save my life. When I fall, 
doesn't matter vertical horizontal doesn't matter the type of fall when i when i fall i want this to catch me so for that to happen should this should always be connected and to make sure this will do its job what i'm trying to do during its lifespan is not to stress it because the stitches of the um, shock absorber might get tired if i'm stressing them over and over and over again even the linears uh, might get tired and when i'm falling they might deploy differently than, than they are supposed to and it might can it might get me into trouble i don't want that to happen so what am i doing when i'm resting using the resting um, linear and i know this was never stressed and when it is about to when it and this should hopefully will never happen when it is supposed to uh, deploy and save my life will work in uh, at the um, ideal parameters good why am i using two well sometimes it might be hard to reach with a shorter one maybe i'm going on a vertical and my resting point is at this level so now i'm flipping with this one whatever and i rest on that it is why um, I've chosen to have a linear with uh, a Y shape, shape where one is shorter than the other. Some people, I've seen them on the vertical, they connect because they are afraid. They connect the resting uh, linear as well. And why is this bad? Well, because on the vertical, when you fall, imagine you are falling. So let's suppose I am here. Well, let me go. Let's suppose I'm here. The carabines, all these three carabines, are what? Half a meter above. Let's go a bit higher. So now it's, now it's like one meter above. Imagine me falling from one meter above. Well, if, if, wait, wait, wait. I didn't, okay. So you see, descending is quite hard. So imagine me falling for, on the vertical from one meter above. So what will happen is with my weight and with here I reach usually 110, 115 kilograms. So I fall and this is where I'm stopping. So when I stop with all my force, what will happen is that impact force gets transferred to the system. And what is supposed to happen here is when I'm properly connected, like this, the force gets transferred onto the shock absorber and this will deploy. There are some stitches, so the linear is stitched like this and it deploys like this. This deploys, then this becomes longer and longer and it acts like, it becomes elastic practically. So when the shock absorber deploys, the whole system becomes elastic and the impact force get somehow absorbed of course if it is a very bad fall some of the force will go on my back and it is very if it is a very 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 bad fall it might break my back but uh, don't get scared hopefully that will never happen to any one of us good if in the same situation you have a resting carabine connected as well you are in big trouble why because you are falling okay from one two three four meters above the bolt based on how long the segment is you fall you hit the bottom now guess what happens you guessed i hope you guessed so what happens is this stops and you see this doesn't do anything here it's impossible to do something because you have a resting carabine the resting linear that stops it prevents it from doing its job this is static so the impact force now gets transferred through it to your harness and from the harness to your back i can guarantee you in case of a one meter for sure two or three meters fall your back will uh, will, uh, will break and well do you want that to happen you don't want for that type of fall if you use this fixed system Two things will happen either your back breaks immediately and that's it you are done or otherwise the whole system will break 
Now, if a whole system breaks because of this, if the linear breaks is not a problem, if a belay loop or harness breaks, well, you'll fall and die. So, oh, hopefully that will not happen. If this one breaks, well, this one will kick in and will still hold you and you don't fall to death. But you still have a problem. You're back. It's broken. So, I've seen people doing it. I caught myself doing it at the beginning as well when I was going on the vertical. Never connect your resting linear when you are going up on the vertical. You can connect it when you, when you move on the horizontal. Why? Because, well, the rule there is when you are on the horizontal, the cable should be from here up. If it is here at this level, if you fall, it's like this. So, what? One, two factor, maybe three. It's not, three it's already bad, but not that bad. And if this is connected, let's suppose this is connected like this, will stretch like this. Mm takes a bit of uh, energy, falling energy, gets transferred to your back, will hurt you a bit, you will feel it probably for a week, but mm, not that bad. If you go on the horizontal with a, with a cable here, and this is connected there, this is a big fall factor. And if you fall like that, it is very, very bad. You don't want that to happen. Good. The only scenario where this can be properly used while transitioning on the horizontal is if the, the cable is from here up, you plug this, if you fall, there is nothing to stretch because there is not that much distance you are falling before this kicking in. This is it. This is um, how you should uh, start your Via Ferrata adventure. The, the horizontal falls are usually gentle um, and probably your via ferrata set will never deploy probably depends on circumstances but when you are on the vertical if you fall it is very bad the ferrata um, the shock absorber of the ferrata set will deploy the stitches get unwrapped like they break the whole thing gets unwrapped one by one based on the, the severity of the fall and it absorbs the shock and what this means is on your back and in general on the system is less pressure, less stress and it might save your uh, life. It is supposed to save your life. Again, it, is, it depends on the severity of a fall. You have to be aware of this because Via Ferrata doesn't require specialized training or extensive um, experience as climbing. Also, it doesn't require having a belayer, like a person to, to hold the other end of a rope. There is no rope um, involved, but it comes with other um, um, limitations. And one of them is this vertical ascent where you might fall. And if this happens, you get into this uh, huge fall factor uh, issue presented by the, the circumstances. While climbing, they say the fall factor is up to two in general. It depends, even there it can go higher than two, but in general it's around two. They say a two falling factor is good for the body. Everything above that starts to get uh, nasty. Uh, again, the back. Of course, you can twist ankles, break bones based on how you hit the, the rock. It's a different uh, um, uh, discussion, that one. Yes. Let me show it again to you, and with this I'm done. This is how it works. I will do the climb, and like practically I'm now simulating as me going up on a Via Ferrata. So I'm moving. I'm not, I'm not dragging with my hands. I'm not doing this. You will see many people dragging the, the, the linear, the carabines. There is no need to do that, because it, they come after you. Look, I'm going. They come after me. I really don't do anything. What am I doing here? I position myself. Now I'm switching. You see, never use two hands to switch. I'm only using one at a time. They are in reverse, the carabines. I'm testing. And now I focus on finding my holes. I have a holes here. So what I'm doing, I'm pushing my, myself. I'm moving to the next. Maybe this gets untangled, like this, twisted. So now I'm fixing it to make it easier for me. I'm testing again and I continue. I hope you liked it. And 
that beast was useful. <laughs> Good luck and enjoy it getting up from your couch, out the door, into the outdoors, trying Via Ferrata.